long time ago required a large volume of sample. So the basic way that it works is that it pulses the sample with an electrical current and then it measures the time it takes back. And based on certain algorithms, they know how much is in there. It's because the, the DNA or the RNA will block the electrical pulse from going through the sample. So that eliminates the needs for ultraviolet lamp and all that. That takes time to do a long time. Mm. But if you go on the YouTube video and you type nanodrop, they give you a whole detail of the high yeah. So the way we do it is the first thing you have to do is um, mm -hmm. you select you select nucleic acid. Okay, then we, we load some water to clean the pedestal. Last time I was here, I cleaned it, so I don't think anybody has used it since. But we're really. so. take five microliters of nucleus free water just to clean the pedestal. of DNA in 50. 50 is a standard concentration for double-stranded nucleic acid. For DNA, RNA is 40. Mm -hmm. And it's based on uh, the extinction coefficient when you use a one centimeter cuvette at only 260. That's how they come up with a standard concentration. But the machine already knows that for you. So 50 microgram per mil is equal to the standard concentration for for DNA. So who samples? Okay, so first we have to blank the sample. So the sample has no DNA, right? So mm -hmm. we have to put a, we have to put a blank. So all you need is a microliter of whatever your DNA is in. So your DNA is in water, right? Mm -hmm. So we need a microliter of water to blank it. The same water that was used to elute. One microliter of water. And you blank the machine. So who's first? I am. First, PRS 413. So this is really good. So, oh, yeah, this so is good. at 230, which is proteins, mm -hmm. and 280, which is also protein, it's pretty low. Mm -hmm. And at 260 really high. is high. So you have the majority of your sample is at 260. So 280 is, so your sample is about, your, your, your DNA is five times greater than protein. So you can safely assume the sample is mostly DNA. Mm -hmm. You look at your ratio here, 260, 280 is 1.82. Wait. Oh. 1 so this shows the purity right here. Mm -hmm. So your concentration is about about almost half a microgram per microliter. And that was for your um, Yeah. 
So 490 nanograms per microliter is the same thing as 490 uh, microliters per mil. So multiply both sides by 1,000. So you have about almost half a microliter.